And welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori, and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook, and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. Now our honey pecan pie is going to come together pretty quick. All we got is, well the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, we got a fourth a cup of just white granulated sugar, fourth of a cup. And I've got three tablespoons of flour, just all purpose flour. And I'm just going to stir that together. We've got three beaten eggs. And I'm going to stir them around with my sugar and my flour. We've got one cup of good runny honey. We're going to stir that around. And I've got a third of a cup of melted butter. A teaspoon of vanilla. and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. We're just going to stir that around really good, get all that incorporated. And now all we have to add is our chopped pecans. And I've got one cup of chopped pecans So we got our sugar, we've got our flour, our three eggs, one cup of honey, our third cup of melted butter, one teaspoon of vanilla, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and our pecans. Now, if you want to put more than a cup of chopped pecans, go right ahead. Uh, if you like lots and lots of pecans. A cup is plenty for us, plus we're going to put pecans around the edge too, so. Now, all we're going to do is pour it in our prepared, unbaked pie shell. And I've got several videos making uh, different uh, pie crusts. Some is made with lard, some with just butter. Some with lard and butter. <laughs> So we're going to pour this in here. You know, our favorite part of a pecan pie really is the gooey filling more than it is, you know, we like the pecans, no doubt, but it's that gooey fill filling that's just what we really like. Now I've got my oven preheated to 350. 
get some of my stuff cleaned up. And I've got some more pecans right here. This is a nine inch pie shell. And these are the pecans and I'll put that uh, video below too where I pressure canned my pecans. People were sending me gifts of some wonderful pecans and uh, my freezer was so full that I had to do something different. So I pressure canned my pecans and I tell you when you open them up they just taste wonderful and if you watch my video doing that you what you do is you roast your pecans first roast them toast them whatever you want to call it and uh, that's the process before you start canning them These pecans are just so good. Phone call. <laughs> it's never boring around this place, that's for sure. And we're just going to go all the way around the edge yeah. with our pecans. Good Make them nice and pretty. Just like that. And you can put some in the middle too if you want to. I'm going to stand here and eat them. Good. Where I'm going to go. Now, long, what I'm going to do is I've got one of these um, pie rings and it goes around the edge of your crust so that your crust don't burn before your pie gets done and this is a pamper chef if you don't have something like that just take some foil and go around the edge and that'll keep it from burning so okay this is going into a 350 oven for anywhere from 40 to 45 minutes I know whenever I make a pie, everybody wants me to cut into it and see what it looks like. I can tell you this pie is still pretty warm, but we're going to try to cut into it. And it seems to be set up already. I mean, it's still warm. I mean, I can barely touch the bottom, so that's how hot it still is. And it feels like it's set up just really good. So we're going to cut into it. And maybe not make too much of a mess. It smells really good. And the pecans do look a little bit dark, but they're they're okay. Let's see, make sure. <laughs> you know the first piece of a pie always is the ugliest one that you because it don't want to come out just perfect. But this is real, real life here. So we're going to take this out. Like I said, it's still warm. So you can see it's already setting up pretty good, even as warm as it is. And we're going to see how well it has set up. And there is your honey pecan pie set up really really good and I know a lot of y'all have a, a lot of problems you know with my other uh, pecan recipe videos y'all so I just have a hard time with it setting up just right this pie set up wonderful and it's not even cool yet so no issues there I'll tell you about this pie though you know, when you make your pecan pies with corn syrup, and it, it's just, and the filling is so good, but it's really, really, really sweet. And I do have a 
pecan pie video now using corn syrup and uh, I'll put that link down below if y'all want to watch uh, that video and it was a really good pecan pie and it's set up good too this is a honey pecan pie so if you love honey you're gonna love this pie now there's just a fourth of a cup of sugar put in here so if you think you want just a little bit sweeter you might put another fourth of a cup maybe a third of a cup but this is really good and mr brown loves honey so this is and you probably never had one this is a honey pecan pie it's not made with corn syrup it's made with the honey that you love so much on your biscuits so your honest opinion honey pecan pie honey pecan pie that crust is so flaky it's not real sweet Then you get a taste of that. Uh, I got a taste of honey. It's got a Not cup of honey. got a cup of honey in it. It has it's just got a fourth of a cup of sugar in it. Then you taste them toasted pecans. I think it's really good. I think it is. Pecan pie is one of my favorites. <laughs> I know. And I thought, well, the two together, honey and pecans, and it not being too overly sweet. I thought you would like it. Yeah, because normal pecan pies. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. I mean, it's good, but it's sweet. But yeah, that's the first time that we've had honey pecan pie. Well. And it turned out really good. It is good. It's got good texture and everything. It's good. And it's still warm, so. I like it. I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's just not as sweet. So if y'all don't like, you know, things overly sweet, you'll like this pie. So everything's sweet like you. <laughs> I just, I just wondered. I didn't know. I thought I don't know if you'll like this pie or not. But well, I think, uh, you know, I'm not a super big sweet fan anyway. So you know, I mean, I like stuff sweet once in a while, but I, you don't. I don't eat. I don't want a lot of it. I can eat a whole piece of that and be. And it's good for you, right? It's <laughs> That's got right. Honey in it. It's got honey in it, so you know it's good for you. And pecans. That's really good pie. I do. I like it. Just needs a dollop of whipped cream on top, huh? Okay. <laughs> Try to get rid of all that sweetness, and we're wanting to put whipped cream on it. But that is really good. That's pretty pie, ain't it? It is. And these pecans are the ones that I pressure canned because all them beautiful pecans everybody was sending us. That's good. I hope y'all like this recipe and I hope y'all try it. If you like honey, you're really going to like this pie. But the honey's not overpowering. Uh-uh. No, that honey we got was really good honey and I forget where it even come from. But some honey can be a little bit more stronger than others. But I was telling them that there's only a fourth of a cup of sugar in it. So if you want it just a little bit sweeter, you might put a third of a cup of sugar in it. But it's good. You don't need sweeter. <laughs> no. Of course, we like to eat it cold, too. But it's a good one. And you can also freeze this. Once you get it made and once you get it cooled off good, just wrap it up good, put it in your freezer if you want to make it ahead of time for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Uh, and you can freeze it. You got a good roast on them pecans, too. Mm-hmm. Well, good. you know, when I pressure canned them, I, I toasted you them. Toast them. Yeah, good, and then, of course, putting them in the oven again, they really got toasted. They're twice so toasted. They're twice toasted. <laughs> That's kind of like a twice-baked potato. Huh? That's right. So we good. hope y'all like this recipe. Y'all try it. Mm-hmm. If y'all are new to our channel, come back. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Please subscribe. Like this video. 
if you're having if you're not getting our notifications go back and hit that bell hit that sometimes bell. you got to go back and you got to bang that bell again yep so we'll see y'all in a couple of days we got a busy weekend on that's our life we're always busy but i wanted to share this recipe with you because i know we're going to start making recipes for the holidays and i'm going to start doing recipes and it's going to be stuff that i already have here at the house that i have in my pantry in the freezer that i put up or bought or whatever i'm not going to be going to the store uh, i feel like my pantry is where it needs to be so all this holiday if uh, y'all want to do it with me let's do it frugal let's do it as cheap as we can without going to the high dollar grocery store and just make just make what we can go back to the old days and just make them old recipes that you don't have all the the different uh ingredients that you got to run to the store and and buy let's just let's just stay home and and make these recipes out of things we already have or you can go over your neighbor you don't have to stay home or you can go to your neighbors <laughs> <laughs> anyways we'll see y'all in a couple of days god bless everybody we love y'all bye man it's good it is pretty and good. Mm -hmm. I know we can't eat all that, so I'll probably freeze some of it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>